Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm uh, having a bit of a cold, so I look a bit tired, which I am, but life goes on and we've got to work, right? So I'm taking it slow. I'm packing orders this week and I'm doing some fun stuff, which I want to share with you today. And um, I did a COVID test, by the way, it's not COVID, so that's great. <laughs> So I'm very excited because I got a new delivery today and I'm going to unpack it right now and it's something for spinning which I'm really pursuing at the moment and let's see what it is. So what I got is a blending board and I'm so excited about it guys. Um, I've been wanting to do spinning for years now but I always thought the investment... I'm sorry, my computer is making a lot of noise, I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, um, I always thought it was a really big investment, especially the spinning wheel, so I don't have that yet but I do have my... Um, drop spindle which I showed you in a previous uh, vlog studio vlog but um, yeah I could only spin like the roving that I had and I really want to make multicolored yarn so the next step I thought was getting this blending board I don't know if you've seen it before but this can be used to make uh, to put roving and other kinds of fibers on and then make a rolex and with a rolex you can start spinning and also on a drop spindle so that's what i wanted to try and then eventually i will probably invest in some kind of spinning wheel but i don't know which one yet and what would be good and um yeah, maybe if someone wants to sponsor one, that would be nice. Um, but anyway, um, so I thought I would try this blending with you guys for the first time. So I bought this online from a shop. You could have seen it on the box. I just bought it. It's not sponsored or anything. And on the back it is... Um, yeah, how do you call this? Mm. Well, it's... It's uh, soft and it's not supposed to move when you have it on something. I actually thought there was going to be something on the back so I can set it up right, but uh, I guess there isn't so, but it's okay. I'll manage to uh, do something with it. So let's start blending some yarn and see what comes out of it. So. I've got my blending board, my comb, and these are the colors that I now chose to blend together. I have no idea if this is enough or way too much. And let's just try it. So I'm just going to take this strand and then just make sure it gets grabbed. So there are all these pins here and they are supposed to get hold of these fibers. Okay, there's not a lot going in here, maybe I... to put more in and then let 
this. Okay. Okay, oh wait. I'm sorry about sniffing, but nothing really I can do about it. Okay, let's put in some of the yellow. And I think I just have to push it down more to make sure it sticks. Like below here, I have to make sure it goes in between. Yeah, see? Now it's grabbing hold. Here maybe. Alright. I have no idea if this is going to turn out nice. We'll see. Okay. So I think I'm going to make a stand for this thing because this is not really ideal, I think. Okay, it's just, so now I have this comb with all these teeth and now I'm going to make sure fibers are going in. Okay, I'm just pulling them out. Maybe I shouldn't comb that hard. It's not that... Oh wait, I should have started at the bottom. This is, I watched this video and this... Okay, this is work. So start at the bottom and then just push it down. You're essentially combing the fibers in between the teeth. Don't do that. Okay, now we're going to add some more. Add some of these. I think I can put leave more in here. Just put it on top. So I have no idea if I should divide it more or anything like that. But it's my first try, so it's okay. I guess I'm going to start combing again. I'm working my way up from the bottom and pushing it in. Somehow I'm also feel like I'm pulling it out. feel like I should have pushed it in more because I'm not sure this combing thing is not really working out for me, I feel. I mean, I've got everything in the right direction, so I feel like I'm making a mess. Okay, 
Okay, I'm, I have no idea if this is enough, but I'm just going to start taking it off now. So, I've got my dowels. Hi from future Vera. Uh, so there was a problem with the camera apparently and it just stopped filming at this point and I started rolling the Rolex and everything and I didn't notice the camera stopped filming so I didn't film anything which is great because I just wanted to show you how you make Rolex but anyway so what I did to solve this problem is make a completely new batch with different colors and then I filmed that so Let's look at how I make Rolex. These can be used for spinning yarn. So let me take this one. I'm totally not a pro here, so I've done it a few times. But what you do is you can draft this, so pull out the fibers a bit. This is pre drafting like this. Let's make it longer. So, and depending on how thick you want the eventual yarn to be. You draft it further to get thin yarn or thicker. So I'm going to go for whatever I can do because I have absolutely no control over that yet. I've been practicing spinning the, the past few days and I only have a drop spindle. So let's try it. And what you can now do with this row leg is start spinning. So I've got my drop spindle right here and a little bit of, I think you call it leader yarn. And then you take the row leg and the bit that I drafted already, and you put it in the leader yarn loop so that you can attach it. And then you just start spinning. So having it over my arm and I'm going to put some twist here maybe you want to draft it some more to make it thinner or if you want thick yarn it's fine too and then just spin make sure the twist goes in to the yarn like that and now I made it so thin that I broke it but that's not really a problem you can if you just attach it again and make sure that the twist goes in there then you've got it fixed so that's as you can see no problem and then you can start spinning again and that's how it works and afterwards you will have to set it and as you can see well I just did a really small bit really fast but anyway you get the gist and that's what I wanted to show you. Yeah that's how you can blend colors of roving and you can also add really fun other fibers like um, locks or maybe some glitter or uh, scraps or anything like that and yeah I'm going to experiment a lot and see if I can make something fun but not now because now this video is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week I'm going to tackle my desk area because I'm not happy with it. I don't have enough room I feel. So I'm going to add a shelf and I'm going to paint my desk because it's now uh, wood that has not had any finish over it so I can't really clean it. 
so I'm going to paint it and organize it so that's what we're going to do next week so if you like that please don't forget to subscribe because then you get notified every time I post a new video so have a good week guys bye